stronger blocker. But three times in a row now, USC wants to come back from a 2-1 sets deficit. The regional semi, the regional final in Honolulu, they did it. Jupiter is left front. And somebody asked Haley yesterday, hey, why don't we just start the semi at 2-1? to one? He said, sounds good to me. So that's exactly what he got here. He got himself down 2-1, to one, and here they are in the fifth. Three-time NCAA champs, USC. Illinois looking for a first national championship. They're looking for their first tournament win against a West Coast opponent. They are looking to stay perfect on the year in five setters. They are 6-0. and oh. This their first foray into a fifth set in the NCAA tournament. It's the third straight for Southern California. And that's the bad matchup for Jupiter, immediately controlled by Illinois. They have a swing and they score the point. So the 6-6 McMahon helps with the block on Jupiter and then Barch terminates. USC just did not want to risk having Alex Jupiter in the back row and getting less swings at the ball. Nice up by Beltran. Terrific play for her to keep it alive. Bateman. Not going to be a great swing there for Jupiter. McMahon over the top of the block, down the line. Two zip Illinois. Coach Haley. Looking at his squad, there was some real hesitation by his libero there, Natalie Hagland. She was all over that and then just waited too long to make the play. Jupiter Birch got it up. Oh. And then the misfire. Oh. USC. Rare miscommunication. Two players go for the ball, their forearms get interlock they can't get the ball over the net that's not what you want to do in the fifth set of a national semi big stars are all seniors birch and ward for illinois jupiter for usc their last opportunity at a championship and the stuff bateman alongside williams a rare stop down the line by the usc block Ward has been, been doing such a nice job of working it around that block and seeing when the line is open. Aaron Yoder, the defensive specialist down to serve. Who came up with the big dig. Now she goes to that side and she almost came up with that one. McMahon going over the top of the block, using that size advantage. Ward serving at 3-2. Bateman into Jupiter. Point SC. Well, it's not quite like the performance Jupiter put on just a week ago in the regional semifinal where she scored her team's first five points in the fifth set against Hawaii. But she did get that kill, and keeping her team alive. McMahon again against the smaller solo block. Yeah, Jupiter a little mad at herself for giving so much angle here. She steps out, and there's a lot of cross court to hit at. You can see Jupiter there saying, my bad, I got to take more cross court next time she takes that swing. Service error ties it at four. That's Jupiter now in the back, Karch, as she goes to serve. And on the other side, Beltran now responsible for two points of USC's four with the miscommunication and the service error. You do not want to serve the ball out much in this fifth. Good up by Bateman. Oh. And then they couldn't get to it. Point Illinois. Both teams playing out of character. They've been quite smooth and well controlled, poised, communicating. Another miscommunication. First it was Illinois' turn, now USC's. McMahon with four of their five kills here in the set for Illinois. They're trying to get through Ward right now in the back row. Williams finishes. 
but Williams exits. Puts the ball down. She's going to have to wait a while before it's her turn back in the front row. The other middle comes in. Alexis Olgard, number one for USC. Aglin, tough serve. And the ace. As she grabs the lead, she's got a couple of aces tonight. Johnson slides behind, slams it home. Point Illinois. So on this play, you can see the USA middle blocker, Alexis Olgar there, number one. She goes right out of your screen, way to the right, leaving a one-on-one. -on -one. That's an easy put away. Johnson's been doing that all night long, thanks to the well-located sets of setter Annie Lurson. More back up front now for Illinois. Some more problems in the passing game. Beltran. Again, getting in somebody's way. That was not a particularly hard hit. If anything, if they'd have let it go, it was probably going out of bounds. A, a big break for USC as Illinois is, I think, trying a little too hard here to make the perfect play. Good control pass that time. Ward with a big hit. Twenty-six kills for Colleen Ward. Again, coming well into the middle of the court to try to change the space that she can attack at. Inside the Shaw uses the block. Point SC. Midway through this fifth and final set, the teams will switch sides. We remind you that it's not just a big weekend for volleyball, it's a big weekend for basketball also. One and two will meet in Waco on Sunday night. It's Holiday Hoops presented by K Jewelers. 8.30 Eastern, the Baylor Bears and the Yukon Huskies in a matchup of unbeatens. And two of the top contenders for the national championship this year. Eight, seven, USC, games to 15, got to win it by two. Beth Mullins along with Karch Karai and a thrilling finish here to our second semifinal of the night. The winner moves on to face UCLA. Not necessarily well played. Some of these miscommunications, you would not expect that in December after a long season that started in early August. But the team that works through this adversity better through these rough patches is clearly the one that's going to come out with the win. You've often talked about in this situation, it's the team that can play like they normally do and not try and do too much that gets through those rough patches. And in this first half of this last, this fifth deciding set, teams have been trying, both teams have been trying to do a little too much and they end up doing too little. USC, the toughest road to get here, had to win at Hawaii and then beat Pepperdine. They were down two to one in both of those matches at the regional and they survived to advance. And now down two one tonight against Illinois and trying to advance. For Kevin Hamley and the Illini, well they had success back in the late 80s. They have never played for the national championship trying to break through here tonight. Sarah Shaw will serve USC in black, Illinois in white. Larson looking to Ward. Confusion there also. Ward not expecting that set to the middle of the court. Jupiter long. Oh, there's a call oh, there. The call in the back. She's saying there was a touch. The line One of the linesmen. Clearly no touch on that. The Overruled touch. by the chair. You could hear the referee said clearly there was no touch on. Oh, that looked like it hit the right hand of middle blocker Anna Dorn there. Goes in Illinois' favor, tied at eight. Looking at Jupiter. There was a touch on that. Alex Jupiter. One kill shy of a career high. After, again, the slow start. you got to admire 
This person that a lot of people think is going to be player of the year. To be able to have these slow starts in the regional semifinal, in the national semifinal, and get back into it for her team. Wow. Going to be a lot of Colleen Ward, too, down the stretch, you would think. She also flirting with a new career high. Will it be enough? Little extra special sauce on that one. How about a game to six for the for the right to go to the final? Going to 15, win by two. Jupiter. Big block in front of her. And another stuff. Illinois grabs the lead. That's so tough because USC's two hitters are both by the left sideline. First Jupiter. And then Williams, they're both operating in five feet of space. That's super easy to defend. You've got to force them to block or defend 20 or 30 feet of space, the width of the court. USC will call the timeout. Illinois 10 to 9. UCLA, Rachel Kidder had 21 kills. They eliminated Florida State earlier tonight in the first semifinal to advance. So the nine seed Bruins moving on. We're waiting the winner of our USC Illinois tussle. And the fighting Illini as they have all year long. They love their All-American Colleen Ward. They've been going to her often tonight. They sure did, and they, in the middle of the season, they were trying to run a really fast offense to her. It really wasn't serving her that well, so they slowed it down, and she is showing she has been hot in the postseason. A great match in the regional final against her former team that she transferred away from Florida. And now a huge semifinal. 27 kills, hitting 271. Jupiter, after a slow start, up to 253 and 32 kills. We've already in this set had seven ties and a couple of lead changes. Neither side has been up by more than two points. And you got Jupiter up at the net. You got to think they want to set her, but of course they, she has a six foot six Liz McMahon in blocker in front of her. Bateman going to Jupiter. McMahon got a piece of it. She'll get the swing and the kill. Credit that to McMahon. She gets the block touch. She works hard to get off the net and then takes a huge rip down the line. Nine kills, five blocks for the rookie tonight. Bateman, Williams has it blocked. <laughs> Illinois three points from the final, and a timeout SC. USC doesn't have a middle that can run off one foot and approach behind the setter. So look, the, all the offense is right there between Williams, who's on that half of the court over by Alex Jupiter. And it's just too easy to block. And look at the excitement of Illinois. Great blocking. What a big fifth set for Liz McMahon. She came out and scored five or six of the first seven. Now. You know, their numbers won't jump off the page like the kills for Ward and Jupiter. But if you had to look for an MOP, a most outstanding tonight, I, I think I might go with Liz McMahon and Natalie Hagelin for the defensive effort they put forth. The way McMahon slowed probably the player of the year down as a blocker. And she turned her offense on and then across the net, Natalie Hagelin. Phenomenal job on defense. Fifth and final set. We're going to 15, half the win by two. Illinois trying to get to the championship match for the first time in school history and deny an all Pac-10 final. 
Even though USC came back two, from 2-1 two deficits both the last two matches in the regional, they were not down by a score like this. They were up the whole time in the fifth set of those two matches. New and tougher adversity for them. 47 kills for Ward and Barch tonight on the Illinois side. 32 kills for Jupiter and SC. And a strong serve from Ward. Larson going to Barch. And the senior puts it away. Five unanswered for Illinois. And who would have thought it would happen with Jupiter in the front row? It happened in the back row earlier this match. And it's on the serve of the senior ward. Gets a point to SC. So now USC gets into its stronger rotations. It's Sutter, Kendall Bateman's in the backcourt. USC will be able to spread its offense out. Wilson going to Barch. Match point. And several of them for Illinois. What a smart swing. Jupiter dug up McMahon shot three balls it Birch good reach for Hagland Fuller stuffed Birch again try to tip it down. Jupiter denied. They're going to try Ward out of the back. Oh. Ben Bateman reaches. Oh. Ping pong around on match point. Beltran digs it up. Oh, Hagland with a get. Beltran gets one. Wow. you'll ever see as Illinois advances to the national championship for the first time and a date with UCLA in the final. The Pac-12 champs eliminated in five and Illinois moves on. A big 5-0 run late to close it out. And it's the nine seed and the three seed in the national championship match Saturday night at 8.30 Eastern on ESPN2. 49 kills for the senior combo of Ward and Birch. And a huge night for 6'6 freshman Liz McMahon. And the misfire from SC ends it. Three to two the final, Illinois eliminates USC. Coming up next, NFL Live. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For Kurt Carrar and our entire ESPN crew, I'm Beth Mowens. Good night from San Antonio, and we'll see you Saturday night, Illinois, UCLA, for the national championship.